yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and today we are going to learn about the flutter clean architecture and how we are going to implement a flutter clean architecture in our application that we are going to build we will be separating each of our feature into a four different layer presentation layer application layer domain layer and the data layer to maintain a clean architecture for our application and if you have joined my previous course which was the uh flutter project setup for the production app you may be already familiar with all of this concept like the separation of concern single responsibility and oop right and the uh, solid principle so here we will try to implement that particular um, the concept that you learn over there like the single responsibility right separation of concern solid principle will be applied over here when we are creating our application over here so in the first image you can see over here we will have a presentation layer that will be responsible for a ui and the state we will have our application layer that will do all of our business logics and in the domain layer we'll have a model and the mapper and in the data layer we'll be responsible for maintaining our data for the local as well as for the remote data source and if you see this particular for a layer over here it's not based on the whole application but it based on the feature so each feature will be separated into a four different layer so let's say you have a feature for the login sign up card product right account setting so all of these each a separate feature so each feature will be separated into a four different layer to maintain a clean architecture so in this way each of your feature will be cleanly maintained and it will be easy for you to maintain as well as for the testing purposes and in the another uh, uh, picture over here you can see that we have a presentation layer and this presentation layer will hold the widgets states and the controller and in the application layer we'll have a service classes that will hold all of our business logic and the domain layer this will be innermost uh, layer where we'll hold the model and the mapper class or the any of the, uh, of the abstract classes that we require and also we'll have a data layer the the lower list layer will be our data layer that will hold the repository classes and it will be responsible for maintaining all of our data from the api as well from the uh, local data so the dto will be our data transfer object it's basically a request and response object that we'll have and the entities is the uh, uh the object file that will be stored in our local db so when you see this particular image you can see that we have a uh, purely a separation of concern over here we are trying to have separate each of our layer properly and we'll also have a single responsibility each of them will have a single responsibility each of each of this layer has a single responsibility as well as a separation of concern is applied over here so in this way we are trying to complete our flutter clean architecture when we are going to build our application so that's all for this lesson and let's try to meet up in the our uh, next lecture where we will be working with our flutter project till then have a great day